how to create TikTok filters with your AI creations. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? So today we are going to look into an amazing software. It's called Effect House. It's in beta right now. You can download that for free and create amazing effects that are AR, face tracking, animal tracking, object tracking, hand tracking. All of that is done automatically with the software. The only thing that you need to do is to put your AI creations in there and maybe create a little simple logic if you want to be playful and do something more with that. So let's look into how that works. By the way, this is not a paid promotion. I found this during the Adobe Max conference and I thought this was really amazing. To get started, what I created is a face mask here in mid journey with a pumpkin that is a little bit a mix of a pumpkin and a skull mask and it's kind of head shaped so that is useful and then also i created several backgrounds that you can switch by tapping the screen and i will show you this is super easy you don't need to know any coding i don't know any coding so you can do that too all right, so the cool thing here is with this software, when you download that, there's also different guides online for that, but also template files. And one file they have here is a face template file. You can see here we have a face. And when you think right now, wait a second, that is not very integrative. Wait for this. You go down here for the face and you can see here you have different skin tones. So you have a white skin tone, a darker skin tone, and then a kind of a in between an Asian skin tone. So there's different variations of skin brightness, which is very important, for example, if you want to make makeup, which you can do here. So, for example, when we go back here, let's zoom in here a little bit. You can see here, for example, you have a template for lips where you can, for example, do lip gloss in here. Let's turn this on so we can actually see that. And you can have, here's a little bit of lip gloss. And then we have here a little bit of lipstick. Then you can also do stuff to the eyes, like a little bit of eye shade in here. And you can also do eyelashes. Look how beautiful that is. And these yellow crosses here, that is the tracking. This you don't need to worry about, only in the sense that you put your creations that you put your designs so they work with these tracking points but then the tracking is done by the software i created a very simple halloween mask in here i masked it out a little bit by the way if you want to have a understanding of where your stuff sits on the face that's very easy to do you drag in your jpeg and then you set the opacity of the layer for example to 50 percent so that you can see the mask and the face at the same time in my case i did not even cut out the eyes as you can see they are just black and also i didn't make an opening for the mouth because well the mask just splits at that area so after you have finished your creation, turn off the background here. So this is invisible. Right now I'm in Affinity Photo. This is a competition software to Photoshop. You can also use the same thing in Photoshop for the checkerboard background in Affinity Photo. Go to document and make sure there's a check mark next to transparent background. Now, when you export this, go to file and then export make sure you have png selected because jpeg does not have a transparent background then for our background files you simply need to download them now then you first open up the software there is different example projects i would suggest to you that you look into those and see a little bit what they are doing in there to figure out how everything is working but Trust me, all of that is super easy. And I did this complete project from scratch because it's just so easy. For creating a new project, go here to File New Project, obviously. And then the first thing I did is in this area here on the left side, right click and then go to face effect, select face mask. You can also do 3D objects. By the way, if you do stuff with Blender, you can make hats and everything in 3D. Pretty cool. Okay, so you select that. You see, I've already done that. This is adding this and there already the face tracking is in there. Everything, no problem. And then you grab your PNG file and drag it into that area down here. Easy peasy. And when you have done this, you can simply click here on texture and then select that from there. That's how easy that is. Click OK 
and boom, your mask is on there. Now you can see that this comes with a ready-made face mask opacity for you. You can create your own file if you want to, but there is one in there. So you can see when I turn this on and off, my kind of not so great fitting mask that I created in Affinity Photo is now improved to one that actually fits the face of that lady. Now here comes the even more amazing part. You have not just this video, you have a whole range of video for different people with different skin shades, with different motions. For example, here you can see an Asian guy turning his head from left to right. So you can see how your mask is going to stretch. You can also have, for example, this guy here with a beard. So you can see if that effect fits and works with a beard too. He's opening his mouth. You can see how my mask is splitting in there. So that's pretty amazing. You also have here videos that are, for example, full body of a person dancing. Now, of course, the mask is a lot smaller, but that works with my background canvas here. When we turn this on, you can see suddenly she is dancing in a pumpkin landscape with a little bit of ambient light on her too. How amazing is that? Okay, let's go back here, turn this off and then go back in here because you can also do two people and you can see it is tracking both of their faces at the same time. So that's pretty amazing. And if you want to do this, you can also do, for example, environment things where you can track elements on the table to put effects there or other kind of stuff. And you can also do effects for pets. This I think is a niche where there's not too many filters where you can make really cool effects for pets specifically. But so let's go uh, back here. So you can see this is the face mask already applied. Now, how do we get the background? Very easy. You go here, right click, and then you say segmentation, portrait segmentation. Now what this does is it adds all of that, which has an effect for the portrait and then also for the background. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm using this. Let's turn this on. For the portrait, what I'm doing here is down here with the color, you can select a light color. So you can see here, you can turn this into any kind of color. For example, when you have a night scene, maybe a little bit of blue, but here there's a lot of orange. So I set a bit of orange here for the ambient light like that. You close it and so now the person is fitting better to the background. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is here the background and there you again just click here and add your image for the background. And then you can see here you have these handles where you can move around, you can scale, you can rotate the background until it fits into your image. Okay, so next I thought, well, I want to have a little bit of a logic where people, when they tap the screen, the background is changing. You can see when I click here on the video, every time I click, I get a different kind of background. Now, how do I do that? Very simple. Down here, you can see we have visual scripting. I love visual scripting because you don't need to understand anything about coding. So when you right click in here, what you can do is you can add a note and this will give you all of these choices here, you also have a search bar in here and then simply click on that and you can see this is now creating a new note. So let's delete this note, we don't need that. And I will show you what I did. Let's bring these a little bit closer together. So the first one that I added is a screen tap, not um, a screen touch, but a screen tap, because if you do touch, it will be active as long as you touch the screen. If you do tap, no matter how long you touch the screen, only the tap matters. Okay, so the tap is connected here to a switch node entering. So this will get active every time you tap the screen once. Now, how do we get the number? So over here, I have a randomizer, which is going to go from zero to two. Now you have to be aware that encoding zero is a number. So you start counting with zero and then one and two. So if you have three objects, this goes not from one to three, but from zero to two. It's a little bit strange, but it just is that way. So the minimum here is zero and the maximum is two. We have a rounding note. And then you can see this now outputs numbers from one, two and zero. And every time I click here, this is giving me one of these numbers and then selecting one of these outputs here. You can even add more if you want to. As you can see, this one has zero, one, two. Very simple, right? Over here, 
I have a texture node. Now to get this texture node, what you want to do is to click here on this white point and this will give you two choices, get 2D texture, set 2D texture. So you want to have set 2D texture. You can see this is exactly the same as I already have. So let's delete this here. And then the only thing you need to do is to copy this control C, control V. And you can see I have then made a copy of that. So you make two more copies. Simply click here and drag this up here to connect that point. That makes sense. And then simply drag your images in here. You can see these are my different backgrounds. Now, when I click here, this is changing the background. And this is also cool because now if I have a full body where the person is dancing, now the person is dancing in my little Halloween landscape. How cool is that? Now, here's another thing that you need to know. Grab your phone with the TikTok on that and then click here to preview in TikTok. Now, don't scan that code because this only works for my account, but go into TikTok and what you want to do is in TikTok, you go to your profile and then to the three lines on the top right and select my code. And then again, click on that symbol on the top right. This is the code scanner and you simple scan that code. And this will automatically then load this effect into your own TikTok app. So you can try that out with yourself to see if that works. If everything is good and you're happy with that, Click here on submit and then you need to enter a thumbnail, a description, a test video and some keywords and boom, it will be uploaded. It takes about a day to be approved. And after that, you have your effect online. I made a funny effect yesterday and it was already used in about 400 videos. So that is pretty amazing. Like this video, share it if you enjoyed that. And thanks for watching. See you on my Halloween stream on Sunday. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah, I wish you a good weekend.